Claudia, Claudia is only 17 years old, has won many awards. 17. <laughs> Uh, has won many awards. I've known her and her family for uh, several years now. Uh, we're very, very proud of her, and we're, uh, her, her art speaks for itself. She's a wonderful, wonderful artist, uh, very, uh, with a lot of depth, the work. Uh, please take time to speak with her about her work, because you'll be uh, enthralled by, by the quality of not only the art, but the, the thought process behind the art, which is most important. Please, and about yourself, say. please welcome Claudia Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you again for coming, everyone. I'm so honored to be here, to be part of this event. And I'm so happy to see many different people with different cultures coming from different places. Um, this all started with a big love for art. So when I was just a little girl, I would always express my emotions through art. Um, I was very shy, and art was where I could be a little loud and crazy. Um, growing up, art became something more. It wasn't just about expressing my emotions and imaginations, but it was about spreading an important message. And today, I am here to spread a message about peace and hope for all the tragic events that have been happening throughout the years. So when you look at my artworks, it's not just about a simple art. It's about some kind of meaning, because that's what I try my best to portray. And there's still a war outside that we are fighting. We have to put an end to this. What we are here doing tonight is taking action. So again, I want to thank everyone for coming here tonight. I'm so honored and I'm so glad and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Um, I can actually speak in a different language as well. So for my audience, <laughs> so for my audience who can speak in that different language, hola. You may put up español, despacito. Si no hablo bien, uh, pero haré lo mejor que se haga. Um, me siento muy honrado de ser parte de este evento y me alegra tener aquí a diferentes personas con diferentes culturas. Um, todo comenzó con un gran amor por el arte. Cuando era solo una niña, siempre expresaba mis emociones a través del arte. Era muy tímida. Y el arte era donde podía ser rudosa y loca. Um, al crecer, el arte se convirtió en algo más. No se trataba solo de expresar mis emociones e imaginaciones, sino de difundir un mensaje importante. Hoy estoy aquí para difundir un mensaje sobre la paz y la esperanza de los trágicos eventos que ocurrieron a lo largo de los años. Todavía hay una guerra afuera que estamos luchando. Tenemos que poner fin a esto. Lo que haremos esta noche es tomar medidas. De nuevo, um, I am so thankful that everyone is here tonight and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. <laughs> She's going to do a special presentation, but in the meantime, we want to present something to her. Uh, this is a Senate citation from a mayor, uh, Brian Pistak is also a state senator. So on his behalf, he asked me to present this to uh, Claudia. And it reads, uh, Senate citation, commendations, and praise are extended to Claudia Joe by the citizenry of the 33rd New Jersey Legislative District through the elected representative for your solo art exhibition, Peace and Hope, at the Willing B. Muscle Cultural Center. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Claudia and this is my art exhibition. Today I'm here to portray my artworks, to express my emotions through the tragic events that's been happening throughout the years. Um, I feel that art is very important to me and to society. So in my artworks, as you see, I use my creative images to portray something that is beautiful, hopefully and something that is a big problem in today's society. So for some of my artworks, I talk about cell fairy, I talk about comfort women, I talk about the war that's been happening around the world, I talk about my Syrian refugees, and I talk about something truthful to impact the world and to leave them with a mark of art. And art can be portrayed in so many different ways, 
Today, I portray things like digital art um, to portray this image of what society represents us and how we mean to society. Thank you. Hola, me llamo Fabia. Hoy estoy aquí para difundir un mensaje importante a través de la arte. Uh, here, I have comfort women. Okay. Uh, I can't really talk that in Spanish, but to say it in English, it's a problem about the comfort women in the past in Japan, and it's been a big problem for many years, and now I'm here to express the problem and address the issue through my artworks. Then I have ending war with humanity. Humanity is such an important thing in our world and in our society that is missing. And today I'm here to address how important humanity still is. With a helping hand, you can help anyone, even during war situations. This one is called The Brain's Response to Emotions. I have been awarded the Scholastic's Art and Writing Competition um, from this art piece. And today I address here about stress. And that includes with students or even workers, anyone who goes through any type of stress. This is how our emotions react to in our brains and how important it is to know that. This big piece has been actually one of my favorites. It's called The Dream. One day I started to draw something. It was just a sketch and it turned out to be this. Um, I actually had this image, this exact image in my dream. So I decided to draw it out and here I am expressing my, I guess, my emotions, my thoughts, my creative thought process through this art piece. Here I have Cell Ferry. Um, Cell Ferry, as many people know, has been a big tragic incident that happened in Korea. Many students, teachers, and families have been affected by this incident, and many students, young teenagers, have passed away because of this incident. So this is a very important issue that I have addressed in my artwork. This piece is called Peaceful World, and I have awarded a grand prize at Carnegie Hall for this award. Um, when someone just looks at this award, they may think that it's just a woman um, split between two faces playing the violin or the guitar, but really I try to portray what peace means to us in society through this art piece. So there's a do, there's art, there's music. This all could mean peace to us to many different people art piece called Natural Beauty. I have also been awarded the Scholastic's Art and Writing Competition from this piece. Here, I try to address the issue of self-image for many women. Uh, many women struggle with their physical body image, and from this piece, I try to address the issue of how people try to distort their physical body and their physical self-image, and how it's very important for us to appreciate our own natural beauty a piece called Korean Independence Movement. This is, as the title says, about the Korean Independence Movement. Especially Yoo Kwon Sun is a woman who has marched and addressed the issue of Korean independence when Korea was going through its struggles many years before. And here I have a woman trapped, a woman who is crying, and a woman who is portraying what Korea, what their nation, means to them. Here I have a piece called Stop the War. This has been a very emotional piece for me. I was inspired by a real life image of this little teenage boy, who was just five years old actually, not even a teenager, just a child who was covered in blood from the war that happened in Syria. He is a Syrian refugee, and here I try to address the issue of the war that is going outside in the world today, and the issue of many refugees who get lost or even die. And lastly, here I have a piece called Stressing Out. This again, like my art piece before, is an issue about stress in today's society. Um, there's a teenager here who, whose face is distorted. This is, depends on your perspective, and depending on how you look at it, you could think of many different things, but really it's about how stress affects us and how our brain gets distorted, how our thoughts get distorted, and there's a clock here that represents the time that is ticking each time we live our own life. Thank you. I'm actually a big fan of cherry blossoms, and when you go to Washington, you can see a line of cherry blossoms. Of course, if you go to different parts of the world, including Japan, there's many cherry blossoms around the world. And here I painted, there's three layers. One is the outer layer of the big canvas, a small canvas here, and another middle medium sized canvas there. And this was actually a big piece of mine, so it took a lot of time and effort, but I am 
proud of the outcome, and I hope many people will enjoy their blessings as much as I do.